Hey, good morning, church family. I hope you are off to a, a good start of your day. And uh, I want to ask that you find some time today to uh, go to the Lord in prayer, uh, somewhat in preparation for the taking of the Lord's Supper tomorrow, uh, but just also thinking about uh, uh, the life that we have that comes through Jesus Christ. And so uh, this will be kind of a, a prayer time in which um, I'm going to share some things with you and you can just pause your video and spend some time in prayer over those things and then um, uh, start your video back up and uh, hear the next thing that I'll guide you in praying for. And, uh, and that's how we'll do this time. And so uh, the first thing I'd like for you to do is just to spend some time thanking God for his love for us, that Jesus would die for us, that Jesus would die for you. So will you pause your video, take just a moment and give thanks to God for his love for us. The second thing is I would like for you to take some time and just thank God for the victory that we have over death because Jesus rose from the grave. We have victory over death, over sin and over death because Jesus rose from the grave. And that's what we'll celebrate on Easter Sunday. So pause this video, take some time and just thank God for a victory over death. If you would also take a few moments to uh, just confess some things to God. Um, if maybe uh, you are struggling with feeling like you've taken for granted uh, or you've treated lightly the work of Jesus on the cross for you, uh, then I want to encourage you to take some time and just confess that to God. Uh, maybe uh, there are some sins that are keeping you from serving God from loving God, uh, from obeying God with your whole heart. Maybe there are some sins that are separating you from a, a passionate relationship with God. If so, take a few minutes, just pause this video, take some time and just confess to the Lord the struggle that you're facing with taking him for granted, the struggle you're facing with sin issues. Take some time and confess your sins to him now. And one final thing that I would ask of you is I would ask of you to really be praying for people who do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Think about some people that you know, and I want you to pray by name for people who don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, that God would open their eyes to their need of salvation. Would you pray asking God to help you to reach out to them and share with them the good news that Jesus died on the cross for them, to offer to them the forgiveness of sins, and he rose to life on the third day, that they can have victory over death, that they can have eternal life in heaven. And I want to share a, a passage with you. Uh, a group of men and I uh, meet together, and we uh, pray for those who are lost. We discuss some scripture together with one another. And this week we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And Paul is addressing some problems in the church. There were divisions in the church. And, uh, and, and some of the divisions related around some were saying that they thought they were better Christians because uh, they came to faith in Christ under Apollos. And others were saying, no, we're better Christians because we came to faith under Paul. Now, here's what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 3, verse 5. He says, what then is Apollos? What then is Paul? Servants through whom you believed as the Lord assigned to each. You see, there were people who were coming to faith in Jesus Christ, people believing in Jesus Christ, because Apollos and Paul both were willing to be servants of God in sharing the gospel. And God assigned people to them that people believed through Apollos and people believed through Paul. But it was Jesus whom they believed in. Paul and Apollos were just servants. 
through whom they believed. Would you surrender to be that kind of servant, one that will share the gospel with others? So take some time to pray for those who are lost, but to pray also for yourself to be willing to be that servant who would share the good news with others. Take some time and pray for that. Father, I pray for these who have spent some time in prayer to you. I pray that, God, you will move them to adore the cross and the resurrection. That, God, you move them to share with others about the cross and the resurrection. Not just some story of history, but the story that has changed our lives. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.